I would like to explain the Ken Tsuburi to you. Among the basic Ken practices left by the founder are the Ki Musubi no Tachi and the five Kumi Tachi. Since the Kumi Tachi are quite complicated, you must learn the basic seven Tsuburi in order to avoid becoming confused and to be able to safely practice the kumitachi. I formulated seven suburi practices by selecting movements from these seven kumitachi. You must practice the suburi a sufficient amount in order to execute the kumitachi safely. I will now perform the suburi. The first suburi. Let me explain the first suburi. All of the Aiki Kumitachi start with the sword held at the center level in a horizontal position in order to execute a decisive movement. The first suburi represents an important exercise for learning the decisive movement in sword practices. Thus we stop the sword in the decisive position in the first suburi. Next. The second suburi. The hips are engaged fully to finish in the hami position in the second suburi in such a way so as to avoid an ai uchi or mutual kill situation with the sword. This is a characteristic of Aikido. If our hips were left in a straightforward position, this would result in a mutual kill situation with the sword. This distinction can be seen in photographs of the founder using the sword. I will now show the third suburi. Let me explain the use of the third suburi. It is used in the kumitachi and kimusubi no tachi. At this point, the founder explained that we should perform this movement with a feeling of assimilating ourselves into the universe by inhaling universal ki through the tip of the sword, passing through the nose, and arriving at the seika tanden. Here, we do not raise our shoulders or the sword, but rather lower the hips and relax the shoulders. We exhale forcefully, striking directly over the head. This is an incorrect Ken movement come straight over the head and, taking a large step forward, cut downward. I will now explain the fourth suburi. Let me explain. In Aikido, we make no distinction between right and left. Whether we are in the right or left hami, we practice using the sword so that it and the body function as a single unit. This was the fourth suburi. Now the fifth suburi. Ai, 
The fifth suburi is the movement most often used in the kumitachi. From the right hami we raise the sword from the right in such a way as to protect our bodies and strike downward ending up in the left hami. From the left hami we move the sword to the left protecting our body and then step forward with the right foot to strike finishing in the right hami. We move our bodies fully to the right and left in the kumitachi. In the Saburi, we practice.